Llama's Life number one. This is going to be very interesting, people. I got the I got the beginning story that I wanted to tell you guys. I've I've uh, go, going through my life. I've always looked back on this certain moment, and I've always it kind of <laughs> reassured me just how fucked up of a school I went to. So I was in ninth grade, right, in my freshman year, and it's about a week into school. I would say it, it was very close to the beginning of the year. I would say it was about a week into school. I was new. Um, I knew, you know, all my friends had come from middle school, so I knew them, but there was a lot of new people, so basically what it was is, like, it converged three middle schools in, into, into high school, so there was, you know, my, my middle school was, uh, was Lamar Middle School, and then you had Travis, and then you had, I believe it was Bonham, I believe Bonham was the other middle school, so it, it combined all three of those, and those all made up the freshman, uh, freshman class, and then, of course, you had the people that you didn't fucking know, from, you know, the junior, uh, senior, and then sophomore. So, I was very nervous. I, I, I was looking around, I was like, what the fuck, this school's huge. It's a 5A school, the school that I went to. Fucking ridiculous. You know, the school was so big, there were so many people there, thousands of fucking people, that going from class to class was basically, you had to walk, uh, it was like, it was like you're at a crowded concert, and you were trying to get somewhere, and you just had to scoot, 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 and you were barely moving the whole fucking time. That's why I was late to almost every, every fucking class, is because that's the way that you would move through the school. It was ridiculous. So way too many people. I hated the fucking school. Honestly, did I hated my high school? But I was in the lunchroom one day. I was going. To, I was heading to uh, heading to the lunch table to sit down with my friends, and I'm wearing uh, a Leonard Skinner shirt. And I'll put it up on the screen right here for you. It's a Leonard Skinner shirt. It was a gray one. And this is actually the exact same shirt. This is the exact same shirt that I was wearing. It was a gray Leonard Skinner shirt. And you see that skull right there in the middle? I was like, damn, man. I mean, I love Leonard Skinner. They've always been one of my favorite bands ever since I was a kid. Uh, Free Bird, hell yeah. And I, I love this band, man. And this shirt was awesome. I fucking loved having this shirt. This shirt was so cool. I thought I was the best thing ever. Even though I was a, 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 chubby, a chubby llama back in ninth grade. You know? I love this shirt. So I'm heading over there to the table with my friends, and all of a sudden, the assistant principal standing there with a little walkie-talkie, like they were fucking, like they, sit, like they were secret agents or something. So he's sitting there with a walkie-talkie, and he puts his hand on my shoulder as I walk by. He's like, "Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, sir." And then he fucking puts his walkie-talkie up to his mouth, and we're like, "Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to send this kid to the principal." And I'm like, "Uh, why? Why? I'm I'm heading over to the table. What what what's the problem here?" And he's like, that right there on your shirt, sir. That right there. He's like, that's against the that's against the school's uh, school's terms of service or whatever the fuck they call it back then. School's rules, whatever. And I'm like, um, oh, code of conduct. That's what it was. That bastard's like, oh, it's against the school's code of conduct. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, why? What's on this shirt that's so offensive? Is it Leonard? Do you not like the the name Leonard, or is it Skinner? Do you not like that? And apparently, it was. Because there was a skull on my t-shirt. Apparently, I know there's a lot of things, school shootings going on, all this crazy shit, but watch out, watch out, a kid has a skull on his shirt, that kid's dangerous. Somebody lock him up, put him in a fucking straitjacket, because he has a skull on his t-shirt. Do you see that? Do you see that? Never mind that dude over there in the corner stabbing that dude. Look at this guy right here with a skull on his t-shirt. Let's lock him up right now. That kid is crazy. He is a... He is going to be a psychopath in the future. Look at that skull. Look at the skull on that shirt. So anyway, he looked right at me, had his hand on my fucking shoulder, and he's like, first of all, I don't like people touching me. I fucking hate people when people touch me, especially old wrinkly-ass creepy dudes. And so he has his hand on my shoulder. I'm like, all right, dude, you can, like, take your hand off my shoulder right now. I don't know why you're even touching me. And, and I started going off on him because I have an anger issue, and I don't like when people fuck with me, okay? I don't. I fucking hate it. And so I'm like, okay, first of all, take your hand off me. And so I took one step back, and I'm like, put some space in between us real quick. Second of all, this is a skull on a fucking t-shirt, and I don't know why you're flipping out about it. It's a skull. What is, what is, the, what, what danger is this posing? What, what immediate danger is this posing having on my t-shirt? And he's like, it's against the code of conduct, sir. Follow me. And I'm like, uh, okay. And so I followed him to the fucking principal's office. They sit me down. They run me through this whole bullshit about how that's against the code of conduct. And then they hit me with a fucking bombshell. Because apparently this asshole, while we were walking there, was talking on his walkie-talkie. 
and he had me go into the office. He stayed behind. Apparently, he was in contact with the principal through his little walkie-talkie, talking to him about how defiant I was being, about how defiant I was being, how against the rules I was trying to be, how much of a rebel, I, that's the word they used, rebel, I was trying to be, how much shit I gave him, apparently, <laughs> for whenever he told me that my shirt was against the code of conduct. So the principal and the assistant principal both showed up at the same fucking time inside the, inside the principal's office. I'm just sitting there. I'm fucking pissed because... This is all over a fucking skull on my t-shirt. And then the principal sits down and he goes, why were you being defiant? I'm like, um, what are you talking about, man? I'm not being defiant. He's like, yes, you were. You didn't follow it. You didn't follow his orders. You gave him a whole riot act about how it's stupid. I'm like, it is stupid. He goes, that's it. And he called my parents and suspended me for two days. Two fucking days for having a skull on my t-shirt and me being a rebel. Oh my God. You've got to be fucking kidding me. That is by far the most ridiculous shit I ever it ever happened to me in high school. Fucking crazy. But anyway, that's it, guys. Do you have anything similar like this that happened to you back in high school? I imagine your high schools weren't as bad as mine. Mine was fucking horrible. I hated my high school. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. Uh, if you did enjoy it, it helps the channel grow. Also, hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. Lima Legion, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.